Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. Today, we're diving into something super exciting. If you've ever wanted to create your own video podcast, but felt overwhelmed by all the technical details, stick around because this tutorial is going to change the game. I'm going to show you how to create an AI-powered video podcast using two incredible AI tools, Notebook LM and Hagen. You won't believe how easy it is to bring your content to life using AI for both audio and visuals. In today's video, you'll learn how to use Notebook LM to generate the content for your podcast and Hagen to bring that content to life with avatars that represent your speakers. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to create professional quality AI video podcasts, whether you're new to content creation or just looking for a more efficient way to produce your content. First up, let's talk about Notebook LM. This AI tool developed by Google is a game changer for content creators. Notebook LM takes all the sources you upload, whether it's articles, websites, PDFs, Google Docs, or even YouTube videos, and analyzes them. It can create a variety of outputs, from summaries and timelines to full audio overviews. And guess what? That audio overview is basically a ready-made podcast episode. Let me show you how it works. Here's some YouTube videos about Tesla's new robot I've uploaded into Notebook LM. The AI processes everything and then generates an audio overview, which is essentially the backbone of our podcast. You can customize this overview and Notebook LM will deliver a concise, well-researched script for your podcast. Not only can you get summaries, but you can also download that audio and use it as your podcast episode. You don't have to spend hours researching and writing scripts. Notebook LM does all that for you in minutes. All right, now that we've got our audio content ready, the next step is bringing it to life visually. This is where Hagen comes in. Hagen is an AI video creation platform that takes your audio and matches it with lifelike avatars. So whether you want to represent yourself, a co-host, or even a panel of speakers, you can do it with Hagen's wide selection of avatars. Here's how it works. Now let's pick our avatars. For this example, I'm going to use both a male and a female avatar to represent two speakers in my podcast. You can choose from a variety of avatars that match the tone of your content. Once you've picked your avatars, it's time to match their lip syncing with your audio. Now, we're going to upload the audio file we generated from Notebook LM into Hagen. But here's a little tip. Hagen has a three-minute limit per audio file. So if your podcast is longer, like this example, you'll need to split the audio into smaller chunks. Don't worry, it's easy to do. In this case, my audio was about eight minutes long, so I had reduced it to two minutes, 57 seconds. Hagen automatically syncs the avatar's lip movements with the audio. Now I will do the same process for the female avatar. Once both videos are rendered, we will download them in 720p resolution and then upscale them in Topaz Video into 4K. I open Topaz Video AI and upload the 720p resolution Hagen videos, then use the RIA model in Topaz and leave the settings as default before clicking Export. Now that we have our 4K resolution scenes of our avatars ready, it's time to bring everything together in CapCut. If you don't use CapCut, don't worry, you can use any video editing software. I just like CapCut for its flexibility and it's easy to use. Here's the timeline with the different avatar scenes. I've got the two avatars on screen, each reacting to the other, even in sections where only one is speaking. I've also added some B-roll, text overlays, and background visuals to make the final product more engaging. Using the green screen background in Hagen, I can replace the plain backdrop with something more exciting, like this cool virtual video. You can be as creative as you want here, adding logos, graphics, or even live action B-roll clips. Once I've arranged all the elements, I'll export the final video. Take a look. All right, everybody, welcome back. Today, we're diving into the world of Tesla, but with a twist. We're not focusing on their cars this time. We're talking robots, specifically the Optimus robot, and even a self-driving Cybercab. And to guide us on this deep dive, we've got some interesting YouTube videos. We've got Tesla Car World, Caro Show, and even CNET weighing in. It's fascinating. Right from the start, Tesla's aiming for practicality with Optimus. They're not just interested in flashy demos. They're talking about a future where robots like Optimus could be affordable and accessible for everyone. Imagine they're even suggesting a potential price point of around $20,000. Wow, that's pretty wild. Yeah. But is Optimus just going to be fetching us coffee, or can it do more? 
The Tesla Car World video showcased it doing like a thousand different tasks. We're talking household chores, factory work. They even showed it handling eggs. Eggs. Carefully. It's really interesting to think about the implications, right? The video even showed Optimus learning to make breakfast. Just imagine that. And a key differentiator here is Tesla's deep expertise in AI. Unlike pre-programmed robots, Optimus is designed to learn by watching and adapting. So it's not just about what it can do now, but what it can learn to do in the future. They even had a clip of Optimus learning to play the piano just by watching a video. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, but how does that even work? Well, it all comes down to something called reinforcement learning. Hmm. Essentially, they're training AI through trial and error, rewarding successful attempts. It's like how you'd teach a dog a new trick, but on a much more advanced level. So it's processing visual information, learning from it, and then actually doing it. That's incredible. But let's be real for a second. Tesla's known for its ambitious timelines. They're aiming for potential Optimus sales as early as late 2025 and mass production by 2026. Given their track record, should we be skeptical? Well, Tesla definitely likes to push the boundaries, let's say that. Remember the Cybertruck launch and the, you know, the whole shatterproof glass incident. But, you know, while their timelines might be ambitious, the progress shown in these videos is real. It's not just about the timeline itself. It's about the vision and the concrete steps they're taking. And speaking of ambitious, the videos also gave us a glimpse of this cyber cab. Driverless taxis are a hot topic, but this feels different somehow. What sets Tesla's approach apart here, and how does this tie into their existing self-driving tech? The CyberCab is really a fascinating piece of the puzzle. Tesla's placing a big bet on their full self-driving system, FSD as they call it, and the CyberCab seems like it could be the ultimate expression of that vision. So, no more steering wheel, no more pedals, just passengers along for the ride. And I have to say, the Kara show footage with those butterfly wing doors on the cyber cab was pretty wild. It's like they're designing for a future where even hailing a cab feels like stepping into a sci-fi movie. Oh, but putting the futuristic design aside for a second. And there you have it. In just a few simple steps, you can create an entire video podcast using AI, Notebook LM for the content, and Hagen for the visuals. The best part? You save so much time and effort while still producing a high-quality, engaging content. So whether you're an experienced content creator or just getting started, these tools make the process of podcast creation more accessible than ever. Thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial has inspired you to try creating your own AI YouTube videos. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring that bell so you don't miss any future content. I'll be back soon with more AI-powered tips and tutorials, so stay tuned.